Morning. Morning. I've already been up, made spaghetti sauce for my mom for Mother's Day, and Katie edited yesterday's video. We're on a roll. Productive. And we had our vegan cupcakes. They were delicious. Really good. I'm getting them again when we go back there. Mm -hmm. I hope they have, um, they had a chocolate one the week before, so hopefully have it. I hope they have it then. This feels familiar in the car. This is like our OG shot. <laughs> so we're on our way to pick up my mom. And little sister. And my little sister. Because we're going to see Detective Pikachu, which I'm super excited about. So I've been obsessed with Pokemon, like, close to when it came out. And my mom never discouraged that obsession. And she, too, enjoys Pokemon, particularly Pikachu, because he's adorable. I'm excited because uh, Ryan Reynolds' deep, manly, hilarious voice as cute little Pikachu. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the preview for this movie the first time, like, I thought that it was a joke. So did I. So did I. Was I was like, they're not, they're not doing that. No, but here we are. Going here to the movies. Going to see it. We got our snacks. Don't tell the movie theater. Hopefully, Jules likes it. She can be oh, weird movie. with movies sometimes. It's like, we took her to see Christopher Robin. Jules is Katie's little sister. Yeah, sorry. And uh, the movie started, and she was like, oh, this is a sad movie. And I'm like, it'll be better, I'm sure. You know, she did she good, though. She liking it. She, she likes, like, the Lego movies. Yeah. As any kid would, you know, like, you want to have the constant excitement through the whole movie. But I think she will in this. I mean, again, it's Pokemon. It's she Pikachu. likes Pokemon, right? Yeah. Does she play it? Uh, I don't know. She might have stolen some of my old games or some of my brothers, but let's be real. They're all yours. All the games? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. Oh, I hope they have like a cool poster we can like take a picture in front of. Probably. Furry Pikachu. He is very furry and cute. I don't know. I just like never envisioned Pikachu having fur, but like of course he would. He just looks so smooth and flat in the <laughs> in the cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a I'm Pokemon excited. fan, comment below your favorite Pokemon. Mine is Eevee. I really did get a new appreciation for Eevee after Let's Go Eevee because we dominated that game. Um, I've always been like a Raichu and Charizard fan. And then Charmander is just he's Oh, I also really love Charmeleon. And I like Jolteon. I like Eevee, including all of her evolutions. Yeah. The Eeveelutions. The Eeveelutions. Really, I'm an electric and a fire type Pokemon trainer. Oh, and I really like Bulbasaur a lot lately. Yeah, I like Bulbasaur too. I like the OG3 and then Eevee. Yeah. We're about to get my mom. So bye. So excited. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I am so psyched for this. We'll tell you our uh, full review of Detective Pikachu shortly. Pika, Pika, Pika. What'd you think? I really liked it. It was really cute. It's a nine out of ten i do think that i'm a pretty easy to please person though when it comes to movies like we like almost anything <laughs> not a lot. like i'm i'm not super critical like i'm so excited for aladdin and i know a lot of people are like so annoyed about it but i think it looks amazing and i can't wait to see it but like for this i mean like i i like pokemon like i enjoy pokemon i'm not as like into it as katie is and I wasn't as into it as a kid as she was, but I, I mean, I was a little bit. Played Pokemon, like the cards and stuff. I collected the cards and I played it on my Game Boy and... Does anybody still have their holographic Charizard? Because I do. I'll never get rid of it. I just think that it was a really cute movie. It was. Meg made the, a... The beginning. Yes. The beginning was, was a little, a little like, I was like, the acting is like, eh. it but then it got really felt good. Like the that very first, like that very beginning, him and his friend, like yeah. he's catching a cubone, trying to catch a cubone. Yeah, it literally felt to me like they were just reading their lines. Like yeah. there was no acting involved in yeah. that scene at all. And then, and then like, but as soon as he got to the the city, I think he, it was much better. It got. I mean, it was like a switch almost. It got a lot better. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it was good. totally different. Um, That's I, my only 
my only thing. I think my favorite thing about it, like it was really good, it was funny, it had a lot of Ryan Reynolds humor, which is great mm -hmm. because I enjoy that. I think my favorite thing was seeing like the Pokemon in real life because literally since I've been nine or ten years old, like that's what I would play outside. Like me and my cousin would play Pokemon, like we were out in the grass catching Pokemon and so on and so on. So like here it is like real life. These people are interacting like instead of just pigeons in the air or sparrows, it's it's not animated it is and real life. Sparrows. Yeah, it's it was really cool. That was really neat. And seeing like how the Pokemon integrated with people's lives, like um I don't know if it's Exploud, but they were like the beatboxers, they were like the stereo for that one oh, right. party. Yeah, yeah. That was cool, like seeing how they work together. Mm -hmm. That was really neat. I think and, that was like a lot of what that city was. It was yeah. really cool to see like there was a Machamp, I think, or Mach I think it's a Machamp Forms? directing traffic. Yeah, it was Machamp. He, yeah, he was like a security like <laughs> police officer directing traffic in the city and I don't know, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, it was really neat. And like the storyline itself was pretty cool. It was good. It had like a little bit of a callback to all the way, it said like 20 years ago was the Kanto region, so like you got some nostalgia from that. And there was a lot of new Pokemon that honestly I didn't know who they were. Yeah. I didn't recognize a handful of Pokemon. There was um, there was this one that I had never seen before. It was like pink and white and it was in the street towards the end whenever. Oh, I, I think know what it's that a, was. I think it's an evolution of Licky Tongue. Oh, think. okay. Yeah. Um, I need to brush up on a lot of and there was a lot of, oh god, what are they called? They're blue and red, and they like look like, they've got like pointy ears, and I really like them, and I think that it turns into, it's like a fighting type. Blue and red with pointy ears. Like navy blue. Oh, Sneasels? Sneasel. That's it. There was a ton of them. Like a ton of them. I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, but go see it. I think it's definitely worth seeing. Definitely worth seeing. And I think I need to see it again to like make sure I catch all of those Ryan Reynolds jokes because there was a lot sprinkled in there. Mm -hmm. It was cute. But yeah. Also, did not see the ending coming that way. No, I did was not at all. I was well, I don't genuinely. Want to I was genuinely surprised by the outcome of the movie. Yeah. I won't do spoilers, but if anyone wants to talk, hit us Message up. us. Yeah. <laughs> the Petras family on Instagram. Or Facebook. Or Facebook. Or Twitter. Or Twitter. So, it's been a while since we picked the camera up, um, but my mom's not, like, super into being on camera. And it was Mother's Day, so it's all about her. And we just spent time with uh, my mom and dad after we saw Detective Pikachu, which we told you was awesome. So we're back home, watched a little bit of basketball, and I got to order something for my birthday. And I had told Katie, we were in Target. There was um, this print at Target of a Highland cow <laughs> on a canvas, and we just loved Scotland, like loved Scotland so much. And, um, since we have, like, officially, we think, found our apartment, we're really, like, in hardcore, ooh, what, like, what do we want to do with our living room? Like, our spaces and stuff that we're going to have now. So, we want to do, like, a Scottish-themed living room. And I loved that Highland Cow print, but there were better ones on Etsy, and I want to show you guys what I ordered. So I got this, like, two print set, so we're gonna hang them um, next to each other, and then probably print some photos from our trip and hang those in the living room, too. Do you guys have any other good ideas as to, like, how we can do a Scotland-themed room? I'm thinking of getting, like, a tartan blanket, like a tartan wool blanket, a thistle pillow. Um, and a thistle pillow. But if you guys have any other ideas, put them below because I want this room to be really like cozy and comfy and fun. So, yeah. We just put out the application to our hopefully new apartment. 
So send us all your good vibes. And cross your fingers for And us. your toes. Um, so I'm dropping it off tomorrow after work. It's super exciting. Also, happy Mom's Day to all the moms out there. So whether you have kids, you're trying to have kids, you've you have lost fur kids, children. you've lost kids, happy Mother's Day mm -hmm. because you're all amazing. Outstanding women. Mm-hmm. We just had a really nice day with our moms, so... Yeah, we did. It was a good day. Mm-hmm. So thanks for following along on today's adventure. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>